Yo, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to patch a tire. So this tire right here has a nail in it. Um, right here is the nail. So it's gonna be taking the tire off and putting the spare on. I'm gonna be patching the uh, tire real quick. So let me get this swapped out real quick and I'll show you guys how it's done. All right, so I got the spare tire on. Now I got the uh, actual tire. This tire is actually pretty junk. But hard part is, is uh, taking the nail out. So let me get this pulled out real quick. So it's like 90 degrees today. So instead of sweating my hands off and then telling you guys about it, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So get a flathead screwdriver, put it up underneath of the nail, and just kind of like pop it like that. It's kind of hard to show you because i got to use both hands, but yeah, you guys get the gist. Okay, so that was actually pretty easy. So I put my screwdriver right here. This is another flathead. Then I took this one, put it underneath the other nail head, forced it in there, and then popped it out. So it went a little bit like this. Boop. And the screwdriver was laying on that one right there and forced it up. So this is a little punk that uh, flattened the tire. So now I'm going to show you guys how to plug it. So what you'll need is some uh plugger stuff a fart sound <laughs> and this right here so i'm gonna uh get this set up and show you guys how it's done all right so once you get this little thing out of the package you want to squeeze the crap out of one end of it because it's got to fit through that hole right there it's like i need one thread so do that okay now once you get it in there this is what you want to do find the hole and you just want to Push it in there as hard as you can. It's gonna take two hands. Okay, so I lied. This is actually the hardest part that you need to do. But when you're doing this, you're forcing down. So you're gonna be pushing your wrist into your arm and that will hurt. And no, you cannot pound it in there like that. You have to literally force it in there. So once you get it in there, um, these are gonna stick up like that right there. If you guys can see that. And a lot of people will cut the ends of them off. But I just leave it like that because uh, sometimes if it's in the groove like this, it'll just flatten itself out over time. And same thing right here, but it's easier right here because there's a groove that will fill up. But it's all up to you guys. I just leave it the way it is because it'll just flatten itself out. So let me get this done real quick. All right, y'all. So this is what it looks like right here. Um, that does come with a little thing to uh, file it down. But I don't like doing that because it makes a hole bigger and you know you could potentially make it to where you don't have enough um, material to clog the hole. So the wetness is actually hand sanitizer. So not only does hand sanitizer kill germs, but it also lubricates this crap. So it's a little jelly, but hand sanitizer is mainly alcohol and everybody knows alcohol dries really quick. So once you get it like this, what you want to do is really hard and <laughs> pull up just like that and now your tire is officially plugged so now you can go put air in it and throw it back on the car so um i actually made a video a really long time ago uh where i plugged this tire right here that was about 10 months ago and uh yeah these plugs do really good. Don't uh, take your stuff to a shop and have them uh, plug it for you because that's really expensive. You can get this whole kit for like five bucks at Walmart or the dollar store. Comes with like three or four of these. The uh, the tool I just showed you guys, this little thing and a little, uh, like a little grinder looking thing. So yeah, that's all you need. Take this, don't throw it on the ground because uh, you can pop your other tire with it. So, put your screwdrivers back in here, throw that little son bitch in there, and now what you want to do is, well, if you have an air compressor at your house, you can put the tire back on and pump it up, or if you don't, like me, take that band to this damn gas station, take that tire off, put this one back on, pump it up, but don't drive on a flat tire, because you can tear the rim and the tire up. Ask me how I know, because my friend did it. I'll actually show you the, uh, this thing when I'm pumping it up and all that stuff so you guys believe me but I'm gonna go get some change and head to the 
freaking store real quick. So, see you guys in a second. By the way, tire discounters will pump their tires out for free. I just need one of them pumped up. So, see you guys in a second. All right, you guys. So, I didn't want to record it, but um, I got the tire pumped up. Now, I'm going to go back to the house, put it back on the car. All right, y'all. So, I told y'all I would show you proof that this is the tire. There you go. That's the plug. Tire's back on. And the tire's holding there. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to get the tire pressure sensor light off. So you're probably thinking, as soon as you put the tire back on, that the tire pressure light will go off. Well, it's not that easy. What you need to do is go for a little cruise. Drive slow. Make sure that the tire is actually going to hold and all that stuff. And, and in case you guys are wondering, um, that little black thing that I put in the tire, the plug, it's not sticky enough to stick to the ground and pull right out. Um, once you guys do this for yourself, you guys will know how much force you need to push that thing in there. So, yeah, it's a lot of force. So go for a little cruise, and that light will go off. I think the wheel actually has to spin around, like maybe. Never mind, it just went off. There you go. I was about to say I think it needs to spin around like 20 times, but it just went off. So as soon as it reads that it has air in it, then uh, you're good to go. Wow, would you listen to that? That's why I don't like Civics, dude. Sounds so freaking rowdy. Anyways, that is all that I have for this video. If you guys did like it, be sure to leave a big old fat ass thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, turn on bell notifications so you guys never miss a video. And by the way, if you do this technique that I just showed you, make sure that you take extreme precaution because not all the time this will work. It can come out and, uh, you know, just make sure that you keep a spare on you. Make sure that you keep another plug and all that stuff on you. Just do this at your own risk. I'm not telling you guys to do it. I'm just showing you guys that I did it. And I actually did this like a year ago on the back tire. And it's still holding up pretty good. So, knock on wood. <laughs> but anyways, that is all that I have for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.